Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I found an old video on one of my hard drives. This is from about seven or eight years ago. And it's, I know the quality is terrible. It's back, you know, before we had all these cool phones that had 4K and all that stuff. I think this is like 480p or possibly 720, I'm not sure. But I had to delete 183 videos years ago because of copyright strikes and not knowing how copyright works and a bit of ignorance on my part. But it was back in the early days and I've learned a lot since then. Uh, I can't use the original audio because I was playing the Hans Zimmer Dark Knight music underneath my voice in the video, so unfortunately I've got to do uh, fresh audio for you, but that's alright because it's I'm, I'm doing this fresh, like I found the video and then I thought right I'm just going to do a voiceover, I'm not going to watch it first, so we're just going to look at the collection I used to have, uh, all the Hot Toys Dark Knight trilogy stuff, now this is like I said from about 8 years ago, so you've got the is that the DX13? Well, whenever the DX13 came out, that's how old this video is. <laughs> There's a Heath Ledger in the background in a suit just because, you know, just because. <laughs> that's the bank robber Joker head sculpt. But yeah, it looks, the quality is not good. It looks like I filmed it with a cat or something. It's, just, it's not great, but certain people who have been subscribed to me since the beginning will be happy to see this video again i'm thinking like even seb and some other guys got in touch with me over the years and said whatever happened to that video and here it is you know i found it so and there you go you got the original harvey dent you got the dx11 then the original bank robber joker again there's the cop uniform uh joker in the background there's a bruce wayne from the dark knight rises with the cane that rhymes you got a first night out Bruce Wayne back there as well. And there's a prologue Bane. Not many people had one of those. But that was really good. He actually had the proper ties for his wrists as well. That I got with the SWAT Commissioner Gordon. Which we'll see over on the right hand side. There's a Bane. Another Bane. Uh, DX11 again. And the DX01's back there as well. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Catwoman. Unfortunately her outfit rotted away to nothing. Yeah. There's also the DX02 Dark Knight Batman that came with that backpack, which is something a lot of people want to get their hands on these days. I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. There's the Demon. Still got him. There's DX01. And when he's crashing the party and he fires the shotgun up in the air. There's the one of the original MMS Batman Begins back there. Like the, I think that's the first one. They've done it like three times again since then. But Yeah, man. Some interesting stuff that was a great head sculpt there for the joker without the makeup as well really really cool yeah yeah that's dx13 isn't it i get mixed up he has a velvet cape on there so used to use velvet capes for the one six scale stuff pretty often now i mainly stick to velvet capes when it comes to the quarter scale not so much the one six it's a bit too thick for one six well there's selena Got a lot of mileage out of her before she gave up. Some post, uh, most popular video on the channel is a post session with her. Now that prologue, Bane, I do miss that a little bit. That was a good figure. Oh yeah, there you go. Twisty tires. Or whatever. Well, not twisty tires, but... <laughs> yep. It's mad seeing this again after so many years. Very cool. Yeah, this Hong Kong scene... I miss having him. The original Batman Begins. Nice velvet cape. Commissioner Gordon, that was a sick figure. That was an amazing head sculpt, still is. And a very detailed outfit, really nice, very, very good figure, that SWAT one. Don't know why I got rid of him. I got a little bit bored of him in the end, but probably should have hung on to that. And I still got that velvet cape it's all melted and ripped and torn the demon fully Hong Kong seamed up his neck looks a bit long and thin there they've improved that a little bit since there's that same Batman Begins cowl they keep using again and again Bane looks pretty intimidating there I'm gonna try and get that new Bane that's coming out he looks really good the latest one that they've announced <laughs> that's a pretty cool angle Oh yes, DX02 with the moving eyes. That's the Bane still looks good. That looks very good. DX11. Yeah, Hot Toys are definitely going to be dropping another Heath Ledger Joker. Hey, Lever? Sorry, Heath Ledger Joker on us, I'm sure, at some point. Especially with the in-art Joker coming out. I think they're going to answer back. 
probably in the not too distant future with the rate of uh, revisiting the Dark Knight Trilogy stuff. There does seem to be a bit of a camera glitch going on, folks, throughout the video. Sorry about that, but yeah. Nice to have this video back, though. We've still got a ways to go. We're only about halfway through, so... <laughs> yeah. But I remember the bank robber Joker head sculpts being the first ones Hot Toys did where it started to change the game. It went to the next level. Before that, they were okay, but it was the bank robber Joker. That was the one that came out where people started questioning whether it was a real picture of the, you know, character from the movie. The only thing I never really liked too much about the DX11 was the coat. A little bit of a bath towel kind of a feel and look to it. But everything else about the outfit was awesome. Now I guess that's the Toy Fair exclusive then. Yeah, he's got the Toy Fair exclusive head sculpt and base. Yeah, some good times in the old place. Years and years ago. That DX01 still looks really good. I prefer the way the jacket looks a bit on the DX01 in this video anyway. It's a bit more nasty looking and a bit of a darker tone to it compared to that DX11 there in the middle. But I think Bane's kind of stealing the show a little bit. Yeah, that's the nice... Oh yeah, so you won't get this, this base with the new Selena car because they're giving you the same one that comes with the new Bane. That was a great base. They should have... Uh, well... I'm sure people are happy with the diorama one that they're going to do, but that raindrop effect and the broken or the cracked bat symbol, that was a real nice, beautiful bit of design there. I still have that base. I don't see myself getting the new version of her because I've already, I'm over it now because I've had this one all these years, but I would probably use the original base with the new one if I was to get it. But out of all the ones they're redoing, Bane is definitely the one I'm, I'm going to seriously consider getting. Yeah, I kind of like that Joker in the background. He's got his collar up. I kind of imagined him just walking in the rain. He's got like G.I. Joe boots on because I didn't have anything else to... <laughs> They're like thick, like 80s G.I. Joe rubber boots. Hey man, I was just making it work. <laughs> Alright, I think we're coming to pretty much the end here. Yes. So I hope you've enjoyed looking back on this old video that got deleted many years ago and I found it on a hard drive. There are others, um, but they've all got copyrighted music, so I'd have to do a bit of work on those. But it's a nice little change looking back on a collection that I used to have. I've still got some of these, not all of them. Quite a few of them moved on, but they went to good homes and it was really nice having them for the time that I did. This was, it was just before the Armoury came out with the um, Michael Caine figure that came with it. That's when I kind of ducked out a little bit, but I've run out of time, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Drop a like on the video and subscribe. See you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.